Howdy, beauty gals and pals. My name's Tiffany, and this is my friend, Laura. Say hi, Laura. Hi. This is going to be interesting. It might be a little bit bumpy at the start. This is our first time either of us doing it. We're doing via discording to do some reaction videos for you guys today. Hi. Laura is someone who has more of a life than me and doesn't spend all of her hours wiling away on TikTok. I I have an addiction. I have a problem. It's fine. We're just, we're just not gonna talk about it. Laura is one of my author buddies. We are helping each other survive the writing world. And I thought it would be fun to get her to react to uh, some of the my favorite author TikToks I have found along the way. She is new to this TikTok world. Therefore, she doesn't really know what to expect, what the setup's gonna be like, any of that. So we're gonna get like super fresh reactions from her. And I'm hoping we'll get some good discussions too out of all of it. <laughs> good. Yeah. So let's get in to the reactions. Now, what do we say when all of our shelves are already full of books we haven't read? Add books to cart. No! Do you have a problem with buying too many books or that getting too many books in one go as a reader? I mean, the problem is I don't have enough money to even, I mean, I've got several that I want to buy. Uh, well, for me, it's more just like library books. Uh, mm. I keep getting them and then I have multiple ones that I'm going to read. Like at the beginning of the summer, I had five that I was literally going to try to read all at the same time. <laughs> and, uh, and they were all really thick. All the books that I like are really thick, oh, no. <laughs> like 500 pages. And so like I was trying to read Brandon Sanderson book, which at this point I'm just like, I'm so glad everyone loves him, but I can't read his stuff. I, I've tried Everyone's like, well, you should try Stormlight Archive. Like, no, I just, I tried to get through the very first page and I literally have to keep reading over and over each passage. Like, crap, what did he say? <laughs> I just like totally lose my attention completely because of all the, you know, and, you know, and not every author is for everybody. Like, yo, know, just, just because they're a big author doesn't mean that they are the penultimate of things. You know, not, not to say yeah. to, to dog, Sanderson at all because he's accomplished quite amazing things. Oh yeah, but not every. I want style. to like his book. <laughs> I, want, I want to like them because I like him. <laughs> I like him as a person. I want to like his stuff yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I want to join in on the conversations when everybody is like, "Oh, have you read that one?" Like, "Oh yeah, it was so good." Like, "Oh, I didn't read it. Sorry." <laughs> No, I mean, I so yeah, I all those books I never actually ended up finishing. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe just one of them. It's like when you're at a buffet and your stomach, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Or oh, something. girl, yes, I know that deeply. <laughs> I have, I, I, I am, I am of. Okay, so I've, I've heard the statement that reading books and buying books are two separate hobbies. And <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and I'm, I'm in. Yeah, I have both of those hobbies. <laughs> it's like yeah. I just want them all, and I buy so many, way more than I could ever actually possibly have time to oh, read through. And I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't say I made good financial decisions. I said, that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, eat or read, or well, I don't even always read them. Yeah. Often I just put them on the shelf and look at them and say, "Ooh, pretty, I'll get you eventually," oh, and then yeah. I don't for like it's a like year. <laughs> Yeah, it's like decoration. It is. And, and like they're like friends. Yeah. They're little friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I might have it where we play a couple through and then we can uh, talk about a couple in one go. Because otherwise, I'm going to have us talking for three hours on this. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You and me. Right now. We're having it out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Here you go. Let me go, Corey. Yeah. Go, best friend. You can't just have your characters announce how they feel. That makes me feel angry. <laughs> okay, we'll pause there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that last one. <laughs> so true. Oh, the in infinite battle of show, don't 
hell. Oh, oh yes. my gosh. <laughs> oh yes, I need to, I need to, okay, I'm trying to remember what the third, the middle one was, and I couldn't read the first one fast enough. I knew it had something to do with the main character and plot armor. When you had enough what is of- plot armor? Oh, do you not know, do you not know the, the phrase of plot armor? Okay. No! Oh, okay. I get to teach things. <laughs> okay. Uh, so mm. the concept of plot armor is this idea that because a character has to go throughout the whole of the story, that anything that comes at them is not actually going to take them out. Like, you know they're not going to die. Like, okay, so if you're doing, uh, like, Batman. Batman has plot armor where he's going to be the one who wins in the end. Any kind of story in which a character just goes against crazy odds. Okay. Another one, John Wick. In the John Wick movies, you have Keanu Reeves who's going around and he is killing all these other assassins because they yeah. killed his dog, right? So that is the basic premise. John Wick will fall off of buildings and land on metal and bounce and ricochet all over these things that yeah. any normal human, every single bone in your body is broken and puncturing every single internal organ. And there is no way you're gonna like he's gotten straight oh, okay. up hit by a car and he gets flung up to the side and he just kind of limps away and he walks it off and he's fine again. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> so okay. that's kind of considered plot armor. <laughs> okay, so like when the main character is like running away from like a bunch of his enemies and they're shooting at him, and it's like even though the scene before him and his buddies were all shooting at their enemy and taking him down like one at a time and they're all like falling down like dominoes somehow him and his crew just like make it without a yes yeah. it's, it's like the storm troopers like in star wars right like you have all the people who can shoot yeah. and like take him out but all of a sudden like anyone else can just like walk through a field of bullets and nothing touches them <laughs> so <laughs> yeah Okay. All of a sudden, all the bad guys are terrible shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Sorry, I had to read it again. <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> now that so you know true. what plot armor is, that helps to make a whole lot more sense for the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like plot armor. That plot. Something about plot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you will no, most often hear the, the phrasing of plot armor tends to go a lot more with visual media um than so much with a lot of literary media um, okay and i think in part because a lot of books are just really not kind to their main characters yeah <laughs> you know we like to we like to put them through some serious torment through and, hell. and they don't always make it through you know we as authors like to throw things out where just because someone is a main character doesn't mean they're going to make it all the way to the end all the time. You know. What are you trying to say? What are you I, trying to say about your book? I <laughs> will kidding. neither confirm nor deny any sort of allegations. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Speaking of the torture of uh, <laughs> going with the... Yeah. <laughs> when you're torturing like, your main character, lot. but you love them with all your heart and you hope they make it out okay. <laughs> Oh man, it's it's like uh, you know, Stranger Than Fiction, that mm -hmm. movie. Yes. When when she finally realizes, like, oh my gosh, I'm writing real people. <laughs> um, it's like, man, wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> I have uh, sat and thought before, if my characters ever became into some kind of reality where they realize I existed, how badly would they hate me? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you are a cruel god, you know? Kind of thing. Yeah, you're cruel. <laughs> I'm like, why do you smite me so? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck now. I, I couldn't have enough. Uh, okay, one more. I'm going to have one more, and then that'll be it. I'm gonna pause on that one just because, like the other one is that's funny. It's like, yeah, I totally understand the whole um, not being able to stop yourself while you're reading. Um. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, I I can't read in my bedroom because um, our two year old sleeps in our room. But I do remember in in the seasons of life where I was able to read in bed um, that I would stay up late, like especially 
with like the Twilight series, the Harry Potter series, like don't get me started. Oh my <laughs> gosh, when I first started those. But, and now to talk about the other um, one, the poor girl who- Oh, <sighs> yeah. Oh, people can be such jerks. I hate people. Like why? Oh, so uppity Ugh. and and aloof and uh oh my gosh, like so snobby. Yes. You know? Like okay. Yeah. You are allowed to not like a certain thing. It is okay to not like a certain type of genre. It's you know, even even if you have a bad take on it as a reason for not liking it, fine, whatever. You don't have to yeah. share it. You don't. Yeah, right. You don't. There's, there's, there's nothing in there that says you need to go and confront the other person who is doing the thing yeah, you don't such, like. <laughs> it is such a vulnerable place. I can't yes. even imagine because right now, I mean, you're about to be in it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you just bared your heart before the entire world with your story. I mean, that probably is how painters feel to mm -hmm. people who um, do painting, any sort of artwork. It's like. This, these are my babies! Yes! And you're just walking by like it's just like, I don't know, like a, a, a fire hydrant. <laughs> yeah. Or, just like, I just, these are, this is, this is me. This, these books, these are, oh, I can't imagine. You know, and then it's like, okay. Condescending remarks to my face. Jeez. Like, why, why, why come to the person and be a douche canoe? You know, I just don't. I, mm. Yeah. <sighs> what is her name? Kara. Is McDowell. Yes. I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> and that's. I also did. I want to try to make sure with these TikToks so we can see the people who did the TikToks. So I'm not just like stealing content yeah. and you don't know where to go for the stuff. But it's like, oh my gosh, I don't. I don't know. I don't see the benefit oh, in trashing somebody like that because no. like, do you think you're actually going to get them to stop doing what they're doing do you think it's actually going to make them like at what point does condescending remarks about why a romance going to cause a person to go like well maybe i should make it better because you know this strange person that i have no connection with who hasn't actually taken the time to read anything that i've done or honor anything about me uh they're probably right i should realign my entire life and passion and everything about me and just you know do what they say yeah, I mean, some people can, like, handle those kind of remarks and just, like, let it brush off of them. But, like, I know for me, I don't know, I mean, how would you handle that if people, would you be the same way, like, just tr sitting there trying not to cry or, like, overthinking, overanalyzing all the things, or how would you? Um, well, so... I would probably have more of an emotional reaction after the fact mm -hmm. in the midst of it mm -hmm. my need to fight back would would be a very hard thing for me to control um so oh girl i, I wish i had that i wish i had give that to me <laughs> it's like okay so i have spent a huge portion of my life in retail right and so oh, yeah. i have dealt oh, with man. every facet of insane karen and oh those karens yeah like just they're crazy. everywhere oh my gosh people are so freaking entitled and i just oh yes you get to a point to where you just can't take it you just can't take it anymore and so you say it but you say it in a way in which it's like standing firm without being rude but they yeah. don't always like that, so... I would just kind of, like, totally uh, take it on, carry it, whatever they threw at me, and just feel completely defeated and tiny and small. And I just, like, afterwards would just, like, curl up into a ball and cry. <laughs> I think there's some that, like, had, had to, like, talk on the phone to a mom about a conflict... And, uh, you know, the mama bear in me, like, just, uh, said stuff that I know I probably could have said with more grace. Um, so now I understand what it's like to kind of navigate that tension of, like, um, how do I do this without, like, stooping to their level? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and then 
I don't know, some people are like, well, this is just go with me, Patty, but like at the same time, I just don't have it in me. I don't like what that feels like after the fact to just be mean for the sake of being mean. You know? Yeah. But there's there's a part of it to do to do righteous indignation. You know, and be like, mm -hmm. uh, uh this this is not okay. And I don't have a problem with that. And it's it is a lot easier to fight for someone else, I find, than it is to fight for yeah, ourselves. Yeah, that's true. For ourselves. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, that's so true. Very true. We drop in them truth bombs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, which is why, like, your first reaction is like, what's her name? I want to follow her. I'm going to be there. I'm going to support her and show she's oh, not alone. <laughs> yeah. Screw the people who Dude, are condescending. I, <laughs> I literally just, uh, just followed her. Oh, she's followed by someone else I know. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if I were to be in this situation where someone were to be jerky that way um that is where you need your little core group of people to help you yeah process that because one of the things i find that is helpful too is that when you can bring it to other people and they can be angry on your behalf girl yes 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 <laughs> it's so true <laughs> that's why yeah because like there's been times where i've like texted you or somebody else or talked to my husband and been like uh like this this thing happened and it sucked and it's like i don't want the pad answers i don't want like well you should just forgive them move on like whatever shut your face <laughs> like can you just be angry with me because then i feel supported and feel like i'm not alone <laughs> yeah and part of it is just like it helps to validate so you don't feel crazy. It's like, you know, I, I'm not, yeah. am I overreacting on this? And so people are like, no, you're underreacting. I'm going to fight him. You know, and so, <laughs> yeah. and so it helps to yeah. just it feel cared for and not feel as alone in a process to have someone come fight. Yeah. When, you, when you're having to hold someone else back from doing things, you're like, okay, no, no, no. We might get into legal problems here. So, you know. <laughs> I like to do this. This is fun. This is fun and I like to do it. I chose to do this all the time because I like it and it is fun. I felt like that this is something um, you could feel uh, the whole drafting process. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I'm on my sixth one, but it's very painful. It's hard. It takes forever. And uh, some days I want to do it, and some days I don't. Uh, yeah. I mean, how true is it, though? It's like there, there's, like the writing thing is like you love it. It's awesome. It's so cool of things you get to create and like explore. But it sucks so much at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it's so freaking yeah. painful. It's so daggum hard. It's. It's like it can be so infuriating and draining, and just like. You start to wonder after a while if you have any brain cells that work. You know? Yeah. Yeah, like, what's that word? <laughs> words are hard. I'm like, oh, simple, God. simple phrases, simple words. They just suddenly just, just like little appear. butterflies that have been released <laughs> out into the oh, other it, continent. I don't think people <laughs> understand who aren't doing writing. And this can work for like essays and stuff too. How hard it is to have a word you're wanting to use and then it leaves your mind and then you have to try to Google the most weird roundabout way what that term is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can remember yeah, the that's word. True. Cause it's like it's one thing if you're like in a conversation and you're like, man, what is that word? But it's like, eh, you know. I didn't figure it out, but it's not going to go on paper. It's like, no, but this is part of my story. <laughs> yes. like, there's this tool that I, I need to remember what it's called. What is this thing? It's the weapon that's going to be used in this scene or something. Gosh, I had that happen once when I was writing um, a sci-fi short where I was trying to talk about, like, if you were in, like, a hangar situation in the ship and you have, like, the deck above where you might be standing. And I, I was like, what is a word for standing on that grate? Up above what is that thing called it's the thing that's like it's on top it's not a balcony it's a thing people are standing on what can is it yeah. what do i do there's a term what is the term <laughs> <I> could, <laughs> oh 
my gosh. I think I like I ended up calling it a platform or something. But I was like, I was so frustrated because I was like, there's a specific word I there's wanted to use. <laughs> and he like and people were like, well just just use a different word. It doesn't work that way. There are some words yeah, that are just no. too perfect and it, it helps it make it more clear and strong and it's yeah. just you have to have that word, but it won't come to you. <laughs> What, did you ever figure out the word though, or no? No. <laughs> no oh. <I> just... <laughs> That's funny. I just went with platform. <laughs> I gave up. Oh, Threw in the towel. <laughs> such a tragedy. Such a tragedy. Uh, that no. poor oh. little thing that cannot be communicated clearly. Yeah, and then, then there are the times when you like you have fought for hours trying to figure this stuff out, and then you go away, and then like a week later, you're like, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> that has yet that has yet to happen to me. <laughs> the like, oh, that's the word. It's still it's still lingering, <laughs> floating space, out like, in the ether somewhere. It's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like the minion from Despicable Me that drank the oh, it's potion. Like, it's, just like, <laughs> it's still he's still floating up there. I meant to close that. <laughs> yeah. <Bye. laughs> I'm a very visual person, so I have to like. I, I get, I get it. I pictures get it. to describe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all new content coming your way. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and hopefully we can make more. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!